Alexander Hamilton traced a long, intricate journey from his birth in the mid-1750s on the Caribbean island of Nevis to his burial at New York City's Trinity Church in 1804. Controversy swirls around the exact year, sometime between 1754 and 1758, when he was born, though we know that his birthday was January 11th. A scholarly consensus has fixed his birth year as 1755, based on a Dutch probate record. The latest major biographer questions that choice, however, opting for 1757, the year that Hamilton himself believed was right. Hamilton's mother, Rachel Fawcett, anglicized from Fawcett, Levine, was a French Huguenot Protestant who had abandoned her marriage to the Dutch merchant Johann Michael Levine, by whom she had had a legitimate son, Peter. Rachel first had an affair with the mapmaker Johann Jakob Cronenberg on St. Croix, and then formed a relationship on St. Kitts with James Hamilton. The fourth son of Alexander Hamilton, Lord of the Grange in Ayrshire in Scotland, James had a lineage better than his prospects. Sometime in the mid-1750s, James and Rachel had two sons out of wedlock on Nevis, James Jr. and Alexander. In 1759, Johann Levine divorced Rachel for desertion and adultery. The divorce, granted under Dutch law, blamed the marriage's failure on Rachel, barring her from marrying anyone else. In that year, Rachel, James, and their two sons returned to St. Croix. Soon afterward, James left Rachel for reasons unknown to posterity. Rachel sought to earn a living by setting up a small general store, and for a time she succeeded. But within a year of launching her business, she and her younger son fell ill with fever. Alexander survived, but Rachel died, aged 39. After her death, a Dutch probate court awarded her scanty estate to her sole legitimate child, Peter Levine. Disinherited because of their illegitimacy, James and Alexander were sent to live with Robert Lytton, an adult cousin from their mother's family. But that arrangement ended when Lytton hanged himself.